How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this small adobe house which I used in my scorched earth 100 days video. This is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough tutorial with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And on the screen right now you will see a full list of building materials I used for this build as well as the map cords where I built this on Ragnarok. You can also find all of this in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. But now with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay out the foundation for our build. So as you can see, I already have one Adobe foundation placed. I'm gonna come in here and place one more right in front of that. Then to the side, I'll place two more to the right of those, add one more behind and one more in front. Now starting at the back, I'm going to add three more right here and do this one more time. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add four more right here. And finally, just two more right here like this. So now you can go ahead and switch all of these Adobe foundations to block. Next, we're gonna add all of the pillars for this build. Starting off here on the left side where we have this one foundation sticking out, we'll place a wooden fence foundation right here on the front and add five high adobe pillars on each end of that fence foundation. Now coming over here to this foundation, we'll place another wooden fence foundation right here on this side. On the outside, we'll place two high adobe pillars and on the inside, we'll place two high adobe followed by two wood. We're gonna come around to the back side right here and do the exact same thing. Now right here on this foundation, we'll place another wooden fence foundation. And on this outside corner, we'll add five high adobe pillars. And on the other side of it, we'll just place one adobe pillar. We'll add another wooden fence foundation right here. And again, right here, add five high adobe pillars. Coming around to this side, we're going to go to the second foundation in and place a wooden fence foundation right here and add two adobe pillars here on the outside. We'll then place another wooden fence foundation right here and on this corner add two more adobe pillars. And now finally we're going to come to the front here and go inside of the build to this foundation right here, place down your wooden fence foundation and add five more adobe pillars right here in this spot in line with that one on the back. For the next step, we're gonna come in here between these two five high adobe pillars at the front, and we'll first place an adobe door frame, fill that in with a wooden door. We're then gonna add two adobe walls on top of it, followed by another adobe door frame, and then one more adobe wall. Now here on the side with the wooden pillars, we're gonna start off on this foundation by placing four high adobe walls. We'll place two high going around here on each one of these sides of the foundations. And then we will once again add four high right here on this spot. Now on the back side, we're gonna start off by placing an adobe wall on each of these spots right here around this one high pillar. Then we'll get out a wooden catwalk and hang it overlapping those two walls like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and place an adobe window frame on top of each one, followed by another adobe wall, another adobe window frame, and finally one more adobe wall. Now moving to the other side of this pillar, we're going to place three high adobe walls right here, followed by a sloped adobe wall left. We'll then place one adobe wall right here, followed by an adobe window frame, and a sloped adobe wall left. Now here between these two pillars, we'll first place an adobe door frame right here and fill that in with a wooden door. We'll add an adobe wall on top of it and two more here to the left of it. We'll then place another adobe wall right here and one more right here and right here. Now on the other side of the pillar, we'll place an adobe wall and then a sloped adobe wall left.
All right, so one more big step here to finish out the shell of our build. So first we're gonna come in here to this foundation right here and add five high Adobe walls. We'll do that again in the very next spot. In the next spot, we'll start off with two Adobe walls, followed by an Adobe door frame and fill that in with a wooden door, and then two more Adobe walls. In the very next spot, we'll place three high Adobe walls followed by a sloped adobe wall right. In the next spot, we'll place an adobe wall, followed by an adobe window frame, and another sloped adobe wall right. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn right here and place an adobe wall, and then a sloped adobe wall right. All right, now we're gonna come in below the adobe window frame here and place an adobe ceiling. We'll then hang two adobe stairs down from that. Now coming up here onto the ceiling, we'll look over here and place another adobe ceiling right here and hang another stair down to connect them. Now below that ceiling, we're gonna get out an adobe double door frame and place one right here. And then you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, but you wanna get this one that is placing flush with the adobe ceiling. Next, go ahead and get out an adobe fence foundation and again, rotate the snap point until you get it placing on the outside ledge. And now finally, we're gonna get out two more Adobe stairs right here and place them down, hanging down from these foundations. And then do that one more time right here. Next, we're gonna build our second level on the inside. But first, you'll notice here I have this wooden door open. So I'm doing this to show you, if you go to place a wooden ceiling with that door open, it will be obstructed. So you're gonna have to make sure this door is shut and then go ahead and get out your wooden ceiling and place it facing like this. Go ahead and place another one right here, two more right here, and then two more filling in this way. Now we're gonna place two adobe ceilings right here. And finally, we're gonna come over here and place a wooden railing on each of these ceilings. Now right here between these wooden pillars, we're first going to place an adobe door frame on this left spot, fill that in with a wooden door, and add an adobe wall on top, and two more here to the right. Now we're gonna get out wooden catwalks and first place one right here like this, and then just take two more to the left. And now you can go ahead and get out adobe walls and finish off this top layer. Now we're gonna come here to the top and fill in these top six spots with adobe ceilings. Then here on this side, we'll hang an adobe wall down from each of these ceilings. And then we'll just go ahead and fill in this sloped portion with sloped adobe roofs. Now right here where we have this open door frame, we're first going to place a thatch ceiling out in front of it. Then we're gonna get out a wooden railing. And again, we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the side that is a light blue color. Go ahead and place that down and add one more on top of it. We're gonna leave this thatch ceiling for now as we're gonna use it in our very next step. All right, now we're gonna look up from that thatch ceiling from below it and get out a sloped adobe roof and we're gonna rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that is pointing in like this. Once you have that placed, go ahead and get out an adobe fence support and place one in line with our adobe pillar like this and then get out another one and just go ahead and rotate the snap point until you get one that is crossing like this and then go ahead and get out one more and continue rotating the snap point until you find the one that is placing on top of that. So it should look like that. Go ahead then and place an adobe stair right here. And you can now go ahead and pick up this first adobe fence support and go ahead and pick up or destroy that thatch ceiling. All right, now for our final step, we're first gonna come in here to this spot right here and place an adobe fence foundation here on the side of the ceiling Again, making you sure that you're getting it on the outside most snap point 
Go ahead and place them going across this side as well. And then one more right here. Then we'll just come up to our topmost roof and surround the roof with the same method. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now I am going to go ahead and apply a quick paint scheme and do just a little bit of decorating. So stick around with me for one more second and I'll walk you through all of that. All right, everyone, we are back. And as you can tell, we finished the paint scheme here on the outside. As we go around, you'll see that I have painted all of the Adobe pieces. So the pillars, the walls, the ceilings, everything that is Adobe, except for the sloped roofs, I've painted all six regions with the tan color. As for those sloped roofs, I have just painted region one with the brick color to give us this red roof. And then I've painted the remaining regions with the tan color as well. And then the only other thing I've done is painted all of our wood, all six regions with the mud color. Now I didn't do a terrible amount of decorating as I wanna to try to get all of these builds from my 100 days video out as quick as possible so I can start working on aberration. So here on the outside, I've just added a little bit of clutter and then as you go on the inside, just to give you guys a general idea of what I used in the 100 days video, I had my grill right here, and I kind of filled this area up with refrigerators. You can also go ahead here, we'll head to the second floor. And up here, I didn't really use this too much in the video, but you could use this for some, you know, personal storage, and then have a bed right here if you had a bed to spawn at. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this video and build. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was easy to follow along and get this done on your arc. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, leave me some feedback in the comments below, and subscribe for future videos. But anyways, with that said, I just once again want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.